Successful investing is about managing, not avoiding risks. The way that we manage risks is with these stock charts. That's why we need you to join us every day. 10 to 15 minutes is all we ask. If you can't find that time, you are wasting your time. And we don't want you to waste your time. We want you to be with us. If you care about your future, and I truly believe, as do a lot of people around the planet, that there are some bad things in store for the world in the next year to two years at the outside, if not sooner. We are going to be ready. When the markets turn over and start collapsing, we are going to be out of those markets. We're going to be riding them down in inverse funds, golds, gold and bonds, potentially. That's what we are training for. We are working hard every day. Now, along the way, you can practice trade and make lots of virtual dollars with all of these charts that we talk about. I real money trade these charts all the time. I am not a stock calling service. We're an education firm. We are not giving real money advice to anyone. That is a big caveat that we have here. Sometimes you guys write me and say, should I do this? Should I do that? I cannot give you real money advice. I will not give you real money advice. I want you to practice with us. But these charts work. You guys see it day in and day out with your practice trades. I get your emails. You are excited. You are learning and you are preparing. And remember, everything between now and the time of the systemic crash is gravy. But when that crash comes, we're going to be seeing it live here at the program. We are going to be calling it. We are going to be watching it. And we are going to, in the meantime, prepare for it. Let's jump into these charts right now. We see we're, we're mixed on stocks. We see the S&P 500 down a little bit for the day. The NASDAQ 100 is up. We see that 20-year bonds are down for the day. Gold is up just a little bit. So let's jump into the S&P 500 first. We're going into our fourth week after a bit of a lull for four weeks. Our fourth week of nice up movement in the S&P 500. We see the price percent oscillator heading up on the weekly chart. Derivative oscillators gaining energy. We see things heading up quite nicely. We go from the weekly chart to the two-day chart. And this is where we see, again, the price percent oscillators about flat, derivative oscillators losing momentum. And don't forget, this latest candle represents Wednesday and Thursday. It is complete now. And it is hitting a little bit higher, it appears, than, well, yeah, a little bit higher than it had on that prior two-day candle. Again, that price percent oscillator is awfully flat. It's not going down yet, but it is pretty flat. Price movement is just above the two-day trend line. Now that we have actually drawn fully this new trend line, remember you can't use, well, I'm sorry, this new candle. You can't use a candle until it is fully drawn, and it looks like, yes, we get a nice, remember, whenever you draw a trend line, you want it to be a helpful one. It needs to connect two, uh, well, three or more candles. It's always, you can always draw a trend line with two candles, but it doesn't necessarily do that much for you. We've actually connected four candles here. So that is a kind of trend line that we like to see that makes us feel more comfortable and competent. Um, when a trend line is almost flat, it's not, not all that good either. We want to see one either going up or down. Remember the rules on drawing trend lines, bottom up, top down. So if candles are going up, you draw it from the bottom. The candles are going down, you draw it from the top. And we've got two great teachings on trend lines. In fact, I'm going to load both of those up at the end of the YouTube video. Those of you who are subscribed to ChartingWealth.com, just watch the end of the video that you're getting today, and you will see a link to that in the, in the video, and you can link to both those trainings. You can also, those of you listening on audio, just go to ChartingWealth.com, look under Trainings, you will see both of the videos on trend lines. Important to understand and know them. If you gave me just one thing that I could have with price movement, if, if I could only have one thing, trend lines would be very, very important. That's, of course, why we use it. So we see the trend is up on the two-day chart, even though the price percent oscillator is flat. What's going on on that four-hour chart? we got a big sideways slide we can see. A lot of movement during the morning of Big old down 
wick, which is not good to see. Uh, and again, a, a, a solid red down candle in the morning. Bit of a recovery in the afternoon. Again, indecision, lots of indecision on a sideways slide. Looks like the four-hour chart's trying to cross over going down. So we'll continue to keep our eye on things. Maybe things will settle out and this will cross back over or push up off that red signal line and give you the ability to jump into an uptrade. Maybe it's over. So we'll just continue to keep our eye on things when it comes to the S&P 500. We go from the S&P to the Qs. And of course, this is a trade we have been in for a while. Don't forget, we had that weekly vertical crossover all the way back at the end of January of this year. And but for two weeks of a little bit of pullback, we have had just smashing up. And of course, the last four weeks, a huge boom up hitting new highs. We see the price percent oscillator heading up strongly, really hasn't changed its strength in the last going on three weeks now. Derivative oscillator gaining upward momentum. We go to the two-day chart and look at that two-day candle. Again, pressing up higher than the prior candle. Nice, big, fat green candle. Biggest green candle we've seen since maybe back on the, uh, the two-day candle ending the 3rd of April. So nice big up candle. Look at all. The, the trend line is just beautiful. Connecting, what, four, five? Five candles. So again, decent trend line. Price percent oscillators heading up. Derivative oscillators gaining upward momentum. Price is well above the weekly, well above the two-day. So again, still in play. We see that that sideways slide we had going for a day and a half when we ended our show yesterday, we can see that it popped up in the morning, went a little higher uh, throughout the day. We do see, however, because of some oscillations, that price percent oscillator is heading down. Derivative oscillators been losing lots of momentum for the last two days. So we'll keep our eye on things again. The bigger charts, which is where we go after we pull the trigger for a crossover. And don't forget, friends, we jumped into this whole ball of wax when we had that last four-hour crossover, well, the, the trigger-pulling crossover in the morning on Monday, the 1st of April, and our jumping in point somewhere around about 181, and of course, as high as 190.98. Again, that's nice over just the course of now going on about three, three weeks. Um, pretty, pretty nice. Uh, again, just beautiful. What we like to see. That's the charts working for you in a very successful practice trade. So we're going to go from stocks to bonds. Bonds down for the day, 0.15%. Are we going to get a weekly vertical crossover? Looks less and less likely. It was crossing over earlier in the week, but remember how we say you don't call a crossover until the candle finishes drawing. Since it's a weekly candle, it wouldn't finish drawing earlier in the week, and it's since pulled away from that crossover. We have a green spinning top right now. Two prior weeks of down movement. We'll see how things finish up on Friday. But again, doesn't look like we're going to get a weekly vertical crossover. When we go to the, now the, the price percent oscillator is continuing to lose energy, and the derivative oscillator likewise. We go to the two-day chart. What do we see? Well, we have a green up candle on this latest, uh, a decent green up candle, open box, which is a st the stronger of the green candles. And we see the price percent oscillator, however, is just flat. It's not crossing over. And derivative oscillators losing downward momentum, at least for the last two days. So we don't have a trade because we got the weekly and the two day going in opposite directions. Four hour chart, could it be topping out? Looks like it's losing some energy there. So again, We'll wait and see how bonds sort themselves out. Don't have a trade in bonds right now. We're hoping for that weekly vertical crossover going down, but did not happen. Let's go to gold. Gold up for the day just a little bit, 0.08%. Now, again, we had that weekly vertical crossover in gold. That was the last one we had for our charts. It was back on the week ending the 29th of March. And of course, the following, the next week after that, nice down week. Then we sort of had a doji, lots of indecision that week. And then going into this second week of strong down movement, hit lower lows. But again, closing at the 120.57 mark. So 
Again, the lowest we've gotten during the course of the week was 119.55. And um, I know we reached lower than that. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, the, the weekly chart is showing us 119.55. I thought it had gone lower. But we see the price percent oscillator is heading down strongly. Derivative oscillators gaining downward momentum. So again, leads us to believe that we'll have continued down movement. We see things, however, sort of bottoming about that 120.20 mark, somewhere around there. And uh, that is where you know, things have sort of leveled out for this week. Latest two-day candle we have is a green doji, meaning lots of indecision, tending up, prices well below the two-day trend line, well, well below the weekly trend line. Derivative oscillator still heading down, but it's lost some of that downward momentum. Uh, the price percent oscillator has also. So again, that's where we are on the two-day. What do we see on that four-hour chart? Well, of course, it crossed over back in the uh, morning, I guess, yeah, the morning, into the afternoon of Wednesday the 24th, popped up in the morning, and then sort of settled out in the afternoon to pull that upswing to just a mere 0.08%. So we'll keep our eye on things. If price movement starts penetrating the two-day trend line, if we see further weakening of the two-day chart, if things really take off on gold going up, then, of course, that would be of, of a bigger concern to us. But we'll continue to watch and see what we see. That is where we are, folks, as we end the day on Thursday, go into Friday. Don't forget at the close of the market on Friday, we always record our weekly comprehensive review and forecast for you. If you've not purchased our book, we've got the ninth edition in. You want to know what it is we do here, how we do it, why we do it. Very proud of our book. It's spiral bound, which makes it easy to put out on your desk and use as you are studying, listening to the programs, doing the trainings, reading online, whatever it might be. We also autograph that book for you. I autograph it for you since I wrote it and put a little note in there to you. We'll get it out to you. You can see the links in the show notes. If you happen to be overseas, we've been sending lots of books to the UK, to Australia, to Canada. Uh, you name it, we'll get the book out to you. I'm afraid, though, you can't use the link in the show notes. If you will email us, CW, as in Charting Wealth, CW at ChartingWealth.com, we'll fire off to you a PayPal invoice. Pay that, and we'll send the book to you wherever you live in the world, as long as you can get mail there. We'll drop it in the U.S. mail and get it to you. Again, we appreciate all our Patreon supporters. Keep having people sign up every day to support us on Patreon. Just sent out for the Patreon listeners, just sent you out the latest special training that I did for you, analyzing a whole bunch of ETFs. And we've also got a stock in there that we analyzed for you that is a very trackable uh, stock in the NASDAQ space. You will probably like that. Also, uh, send out all the special trainings. If you want to know more about Patreon membership, follow the link in the show notes. And uh, don't forget, we do have coming up at the beginning of March, we've got our Patreon question and answer session, a live call-in session. Plus, we'll be doing another chart review for you. My friends, hope that you've had a great, successful week doing your virtual trades. We will continue to work on what we work on day after day after day, honing this down. 15 minutes is all we ask. God bless, my friends. All the best from the whole team here at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.